Look down any street and one in ten of the people you see will have someone who's had bowel cancer in their family. I'm the first in my family, but does that put mine at risk? If you've got it in your family, should you be investigated? Should your relatives be tested? That's what this video is all about. We all have a family and we all have our kin and, and we're all sensitive to the fact if something bad happens to them, it might happen to us too. So there's a, there's a sort of general understanding that things run in families. So when 40,000 people a year get bowel cancer or if 40,000 people got run over, then there's a good chance you'll have someone in your family who had that problem. And the challenge for us is picking out what's just coincidence from what's actually made to do with our genes. Now there's lots of ways of approaching that and some mathematicians worked out that very approximately the overall cause of bowel cancer, about a third of it is our genes and about two thirds of it is either chance factors or external environment and we know quite a lot about both now. So most people who get bowel cancer it's probably just random and there's not a lot that they could have done about it. Absolutely. I mean, certainly random factors play a huge part, but we also know that the environment's very important because if you go back to our ancestors in Africa where they're still living a rural in, in a rural environment, colon cancer is almost unheard of. So it's very much to do with the Western lifestyle. But then there's also the question is, okay, well, everybody in our street lives like that, but only three of us got bowel cancer, and that's where the genes kick in. Get that cat off. Hello. 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 I thought that. I was at the Royal Surrey. When I was diagnosed with advanced bowel cancer, I was concerned about the risk to my family. I was just over 40 with a three-year-old son, two great sisters, one older and one younger, and also a big brother. The rough rule of thumb is that the closer any affected relatives are to you, brother, sister, mother, father, children, and the younger they are, especially under 45, the more you need to do something about it and that might mean they're being investigated by having a colonoscopy. So I've been doing my best to make sure all my close relatives have been checked out. This is my little sister Gwen, and Gwen's had a colonoscopy because of me. Yes, how was it? It was okay. And it's clear? And it's clear. Great. This is my big sister Joan. Joan's had three colonoscopies. Yep. How were they? Very good. All clear? All clear. Brilliant. This is my brother Alan. Now you haven't the colonoscopy, have you? No. Have you done anything about this? Yeah, I've had my poo analysed by the NHS. The screening test? Yes. And that was That was all right. That was clear, yes. Great. This is our son Nick, he's 24, and you will need a colonoscopy in about 10 years' time. All right. Looking forward to it? Uh, should I be? Yeah. Okay, I will. Professor John Byrne is one of the world's leading geneticists, and he agrees that my relatives needed some form of testing. I would argue that we now know enough to say that if you've had cancer at 40 of the bowel, then your first degree relatives are at sufficiently high risk that when they reach that age, they should be checked too. And in fact, many people would say we will check five years before, you know, at an earlier age to make sure we get there ahead of any cancers that might develop. What if your family has two or more people affected, but no known genetic reason? How should they be looked after? Jo Cummins had bowel cancer six years ago. She's had a long struggle to get back to health as her cancer spread first to her liver and then to both lungs. I was diagnosed at the age of 32 and my father, uh, about 12 years previously, had had bowel cancer and thankfully survived. So I was already aware of the illness but um, had not been given any direct warning about it being something to look for in the family. My dad comes from a very large um, Irish family and um, sadly there's been lots of cancers in his side of the family and some have made it and some haven't and um, it's, uh, it's heartbreaking when you hear auntie so-and-so, uncle so-and-so has got this and it's, um, but at the same time we seem to be a family of fighters and we're very stubborn and uh, 
we won't let go of this life, so we keep on fighting. Joe's sister Jackie is eight years older and in some ways has always been as much a second mum as a sister. During her illness, Jo relied heavily on Jackie, but now, because of Jo's cancer and their father's cancer, she too could be at risk. You've now had the cancer, your dad's had the cancer. What's been said to your sister? Well, the, the good thing to come out of all this was the day, the very day I was diagnosed, um, the consultant that diagnosed me said to my sister, you have to get checked. So pretty much immediately, um, you know, she was lined up for a colonoscopy, which she has every 18 months. So that's the protection she has, is the monitoring. Has anything been found in your sister's colonoscopies? Um, last year, um, a polyp was found that looked a bit um, suspect, but has since been um, shown to be just an ordinary polyp. But it does highlight the fact that if anything is um, odd looking, it can be removed early on before it gets to a tumour stage and hopefully preempt and protect her from ever having cancer. But what else can be done to protect her sister and all our relatives? The first and most important thing is to begin with the person who had bowel cancer and to look at the cancer itself because we know that if you've got an inherited type of bowel cancer many of them will present with where the, the, the DNA in the tumour goes haywire so and that's a really powerful clue that we're dealing with a genetic form of cancer. So if I'd been diagnosed today rather than 20 years ago they should look at my cancer and see whether there could be some genetic problem with it. Absolutely. So first of all, anyone with a young person in the family should ask if their cancer has been investigated Absolutely. to see if they can detect any hereditary problems in exactly. it. Right. And then what should the family do? The second thing to do for the person who has bowel cancer is to make sure that their DNA is at least stored because this is a fast-moving field and even if we can't find genetic causes now, we will in a few years' time. Now, if the worst thing happens and that person doesn't make it, their relatives still have their DNA to go back to so their children and their nephews and nieces can find out whether they share the, the, the causative genes. So and that's very powerful. Isn't that routinely stored today? It's not. And that's one of the amazing things that, in fact, we still have to struggle to get DNA stored. You know, the oncologists and the pathologists and everyone else, they're too busy making the diagnosis, but they're not thinking about the future. So as an insurance policy, storing your DNA makes all sorts of sense. Jo still worries about her sister getting bowel cancer, but is relieved to some extent by knowing that her sister's health is being monitored. So far, no evidence has emerged to show there's any genetic link to the cancer. I did look into um, seeing if there was a link, um, and they did. Uh, the hospital did have a look at um, compare my tumour with my father's tumour, and couldn't see a correlation at the time, but. Um, pardon the pun, but my gut feeling is that there might well be a link. For her sister and her family's sake, Jo is now going back to the hospital to ask them to reinvestigate any new link. I would rather go through cancer again than have my sister have it for a first time. No question. But if I could pick and choose where it was. <laughs> I'm not that brave. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I, I would not want her to go through what I've been through. We all want to protect our families. And the good news is that today a lot more is known about the genetic aspects of cancer. And it's now much easier for doctors to identify those at risk. If you have one young person in your family with bowel cancer, say 45 and under, as I was, then see your GP about getting advice from a genetic clinic. If you have two or more older relatives who've been affected, also see your GP and get advice tailored to your family. You may need to do nothing or you may need to have regular investigations. Please see your GP.